Welcome back, guys. Well, we're really close to Christmas, and as usual, every year I do a nature lover's holiday gift guide. So this year I decided to do something a little bit different. I'm going to talk stocking stuffers. Stay tuned. Well, I thought I'd don my ugly Christmas uh, t-shirt here while I showed you guys my ideas for the nature lovers stocking stuffers. So I know it's this time of year when we're all scrambling around last minute for holiday ideas and I really like stockings. I think they're really fun and uh, you know, you can put a lot of interesting things in there, especially for your fellow nature lover out there. So let's get right into it. I have tons of ideas for you guys. Um, some of my favorite products out there and just fun little ideas to put in a stocking. So an important thing for an outdoors lover is to stay warm. So I have a few ideas for that, for stocking stuffers. One are these wool gloves and you can see them right here. They fit really nicely within a work glove or they can be worn um, strictly as a glove without anything over top of it. Uh, so they're great for when you're working outside. It's a natural fabric so uh, they breathe really well. And I just picked these up at my local home hardware. So just like a hardware store. So these wool gloves, I think they're great. You guys know I love my Black Rock gear hat. I've got my little woolly and paprika. I think it's great. It, uh, it fits my head perfectly and can be worn underneath other hats too when things get really cold. So wool is incredibly breathable. It's a nice natural fabric and disintegrates at the end of the day. Years down the road, you no, know, it's not going to take up space in a landfill. Gotta love natural products. So the wool hat is a great idea as well. Wool socks too, you know I love my wool socks. So, um, you know, I'm sure a nature lover would love a pair of wool socks in their stocking. Another thing to consider are body warmers. So here are different ones. These are foot warmers. You've got your classic hand warmer and the peel and stick body warmer. Great stocking stuffers. As the weather gets worse outside and you're gonna be doing some snowmobiling or, you know, just being outside for a long period of time, balaclavas are a good thing. So this is another one I just picked up at the store. Uh, it's in a little tiny box here. I have several of these actually. I've got, this is like my third one. I wanna keep one in your car, um, keep one at your camp. Um, they're these little balaclavas and they're really small. You roll up, fit in your pocket and they do the job. And there you have it. This is what it looks like. It's a really snug balaclava. It uh, would fit perfectly with anybody's winter gear. They come in lots of different colors. Um, this one's kind of like a cottony type fabric. Um, so it's really neat, really good to have when it's cold outside. Items made of paracord are a great stocking stuffer. I, uh, I really enjoy making paracord items. Last year I showed you guys how to make a paracord survival bracelet. Here is an example of a keychain, and here is just one of the bracelets that I've made in the past. They have 1,001 uses um, in the bush and they're stylish as well. This is great to have a keychain one. You know, you always have keys with you if you're, you know, traveling somewhere. This is actually for my snowmobile key, um, but it's really good to have paracord at any rate. So another great idea. When you're in the woods, you need energy, right? So really good thing to give are cliff bars or these energy shots. I swear by these things. You guys know I used one on my um, backwoods country canoe trip and I really liked it. It worked really well when I needed it the most. So I'm sure someone would enjoy these in their stocking. Everyone knows I enjoy my knives and my knife collection. So why not gift someone uh, a pocket knife or a small knife for Christmas? Heck, why not get them a big knife? <laughs> Um, so here's some examples of some knives that are really good stocking stuffers. Um, this is uh, the Gerber knife there. It's almost, uh, almost like a surgical blade. It's got a really um, sharp, sharp little blade with a lot of uh, refills on it. This one is really good, has lots of uses uh, for the outdoors person. Other ones that are good to have, um, just like a little pocket knife, you know, that kind of goes on your belt. Here's one little tiny one like that. This is kind of cute. Um, it sort of folds up nicely and it's got a little clip for uh, your belt buckle. So this one's kind of neat. Another one I have with me is just like a multi-tool knife. I actually picked this up when I was in New Brunswick. Um, it's got kind of like a wood uh, cover on it. Again, it's got lots of different things like the scissors and the can openers and things like that in it. So you can't go wrong with a, a multi-tool, like a Swiss Army knife, um, like a screwdriver, all that kind of good stuff. So this is another really good thing um, that you can pop in someone's stocking. Also, if you're looking for a really good um, bush knife, I have the uh, a buck knife here. And this I'm put to use so you can see I haven't cleaned it yet. But uh, yeah, this beautiful buck knife here. It comes with a... Um, ferro rod so this is another great gift it can be used for a stocking stuffer or as a, another gift for the holidays um, i think i've been really happy with it i've used it for quite some time now and uh, i can't do without it i always keep it with me speaking of ferro rods here's another good idea um, you can buy ferro rods from lots of different uh, places this one obviously was uh, custom made this was by max uh, newcaffler there um, remember he made my dad the custom knife 
and uh, he also made this for me, this custom uh, ferro rod. So I really like it. So a ferro rod's a nice addition for the outdoors person's kit. And uh, this one's pretty neat because it's got a it's got deer antler as the handle. Along similar lines, you can consider these uh, uh, multi-tool cards. Uh, this one's by Zoo utility tools and uh, you know it's got a comb in it and a wrench um, and actually if you look at it, it's like a hedgehog you can see the little eyes and the nose there on this side um, and then like the the brush or the comb on the top there has a wrench um, you know just a kind of a clip a money clip that kind of thing it's got lots of different applications I don't tend to use a lot of these but some people really swear by them and you can pop them in your wallet uh, it's just a little multi-tool but it's in a card form instead of as a, like a multi-tool knife of course, as ticks are getting bad, um, a lot of people are carrying tick keys around with them. This is one that I picked up at Lee Valley Tools. It's really, really handy. If you get a tick, um, you know, you can remove it quite quickly. And this is really cute. You can just kind of keep it on your keychain. So that's uh, a nice little thing. It's very light too. I think it's aluminum or something like that. Something to keep on your pack would be one of these waterproof uh, storage, metal storage containers. I don't know, you could probably put pills in it or, or you know, a couple of matches or something like that. So these are pretty easy to put in your kit and they don't cost a lot either. Why not give the gift of clean water? Here's my life straw. This is a straw that when you stick it in a dirty source of water and you drink from the mouthpiece, which is right up here, obviously you open this up, stick it in the water and drink out of the mouthpiece. This contains a filter and so it filters out nasty bacteria and cysts and things like that. So um, give the gift of clean water to uh, the outdoors person in your life. Life Straw, I picked this up at the Mountain Equipment Co-op. You can probably get it at REI in the States. Any outfitter carries these types of things. Just something quick and easy you can carry in your pack. So if you end up in the bush somewhere and you need some fresh water, well here you are. You're not going to get sick when you drink it because this is your filter. So it's another great gift. You know, when I was on my backwoods uh, canoe camping trip, I really um, needed a flashlight. And I had picked this one up when my uh, flashlight in my boating kit died. It's by Energizer. And boy, oh boy, I really like this flashlight. It's really, it's just from the local hardware store, but it is so bright. Now oh, they've no, they blinded you guys. Um, it's really bright and I was actually using it to hang in the tent as a light at nighttime as well. Uh, unfortunately, it is battery run, so there are some limitations there, but I found the battery life to be really good. Um, you know, maybe like 12 hours on or something like that. I forget what the packaging said it does, but it is really good. It's durable um, and I don't think it's 100% waterproof, but you know, it was very damp conditions we were on our trip and it didn't fail. Um, and it's, I just found it really great. So a flashlight's a good idea. I have another one of these ones right here. It's by Blackfire. And this one's kind of cool because it would clip onto your hat, for example, and uh, it is flexible. So you can kind of bend it around, clip it on something. It's pretty bright too. It's not as bright as the Energizer, but it works really well. Flashlights are another great thing to add to a stocking. You know, everybody needs a flashlight for some reason or another. Another good thing to have would be a crank flashlight, for example, because I mean, these are both dependent on batteries and that may not be great in the long term, especially if you're going on long trips. So uh, you might want to consider that depending on who you're going to give the flashlight to. Speaking of batteries, if you're going to give someone batteries for Christmas, um, consider lithium batteries. This is one of my cases that contains the Energizer lithium battery. I'll just show them to you. These I find to be a superior battery for being outdoors. They really respond, they, they do so well when it's cold outside and they have a really long battery life. It's what I use uh, in my trail cameras. So if you're looking to give someone some batteries, you know, in their stocking, um, do consider the Energizer Lithium or another equivalent. Uh, the Lithiums are such a good thing to have around. They last so much longer than regular batteries. Bug spray. Lots of people need bug spray depending on where you are in the spring and summer months and even in the fall. I like this Pyactive um, bug repellent. It's DEET free, it does your mosquitoes and does your ticks and won't damage plastic. So really important to consider. So uh, if you're looking for an insect repellent to give someone um, this year in their stocking, I really recommend the Pyactive. I haven't been disappointed with it. I've gone through several bottles <laughs> in the spring and the summer when we had that terrible black fly season this year. So I really like it and it's a nice addition to your gift list. Pliers. Well, it seems like a weird thing to stick in a stocking, but you know, I use pliers a lot in my life and uh, I do a lot of fishing and it's nice to have a good set of, uh, you know, needle nose pliers. These ones are kind of short. You can get longer ones. There's a wire cutter here as well. I've got a nice kind of plasticized grip. You can get them anywhere, you know, Canadian Tire, your local hardware store, so many uses, always good to have on hand. You know, if you have a multi-tool, you know, you can actually combine a few of these gifts I've talked about, like get the pliers with the multi-tool. That'd be awesome uh, for someone who's really into the outdoors. But these ones are great. They're not that expensive. Again, you can pick them up at your local hardware store and have lots of good uses. 
I really like these Pelican um, micro cases. They're good for lots of things. You can put your cell phone in them, things that you don't want to get wet and things you don't want to get damaged out in the bush. This one is a Pelican 1010. And uh, as you can see inside, it's sort of, it's empty right now, but you can put lots of different things in here and it's 100% waterproof. And it's, I don't know if it's shockproof 100%, but certainly um, if this falls down, what's inside is not gonna break. So these are great. They come in lots of different sizes. This one is more stocking stuffer size. So that's why I have it out right now. Um, these ones you can pick up um, at you know camera shops, online, Amazon, that kind of thing. So the Pelican 1010, Pelican's a great company. They have lots of different products out there and they're durable. Um, a lot of people trust their products because they, they work. This is a cute little flask that I've had for some time. Um, this is by GSI Outdoors and it comes in a little case like that. But this is a nice little classy metal um, flask and you know you could probably get it engraved if you want to. Something you could have on hand uh, you know for those trips into the bush when you want to have a little hot toddy after your day camping or hiking whatever you're up to around the campfire. So this is pretty cool. It's um, a really nice small flask. I don't know how many ounces it is, but it sort of would kind of fit in a back pocket. It's pretty small as you can see in my hand, but it's very durable. I've had it for many years and it's got like a nice metal top to it up here. So solid construction, you know, it's not gonna break anytime soon. And uh, you can take your whiskey with you or whatnot into the woods and have a little hot toddy before bed. Something that is super cheap, but I use all the time, are these little Kleenexes. I picked them up at the dollar store. They've got mushrooms on them, so they're totally, uh, totally me. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is a great gift for someone. You know, it's really inexpensive. Everybody needs tissues every now and then, and you just kind of carry them in your pack when you're out in the woods um, for various reasons. Uh, also a good fire starter as well. So this one's kind of cute. Literally cost me probably 50 cents. Um, just kind of neat, lots of different patterns on them. You can find them all over the place, but like I said, the dollar store is a good place to pick these things up. Playing cards, this is another great idea. If you're at your cabin or you're camping and it's raining or miserable outside and or it's just getting dark out and you're coming in for the evening, why not play a game of cards? So they're just like a regular deck of cards, these ones, uh, except they, the talk's all about, you know, wild edibles and stuff like that. So totally something if you have a forager friend or family member that's totally into that and also likes playing cards. This card you can see, for example, is a king, king of spades, but it also talks about edibility of wild berries. So each card is different I find in this pack. Uh, it's awesome. So <laughs> you don't get bored. You, know, you can play cards, solitaire, and you can also learn all about wild edibles. So I don't know where I picked these up. It, literally, they were six bucks. I probably got them. I don't know, at, at, you know, like a flea market or like a like a little uh, outdoor store, or, uh, something like that. I don't really know, um, but they are they weren't that expensive and uh, totally uh, up someone's alley if they're into foraging. Again, look around. You can find other ones about birds or mammals or you know, other little tips and tricks on the cards. There's lots of different ones that you can buy out there, but deck of cards, can't go wrong. A camp mug, you can't really go wrong with a mug, you know, around the campfire. This one is actually enamel coated uh, steel mug, which is awesome for when you're camping, you can bang it around. Um, it doesn't uh, get hurt, obviously. And I use these around the campfire to, you know, heat up my tea or to keep some soup warm or something like that. You can also clip them onto your backpack with a carabiner, for example. So a camp mug, another great addition. Another cheap thing you can get, uh, this was about two bucks, is a, a handy, you know, a pocket uh, calendar. Um, so this one's for next year, obviously. And it's got a few lines for each date. I really like doing journaling when I'm at the cabin uh, or even just having something in my pocket to write down something I find on a hike and compare notes from year to year. So something like this, really cheap, one or two bucks. You can pop it in the stocking and it's really useful to uh, the person who gets it. They can write their notes about what they found in the bush or um, you know, just trending things when they're out in their hikes and stuff like that. Um, it's a great thing to have and it's really small as you can see it's not even as big as my hands You can just pop that in your back pocket um, It's like a little pencil or something like that because pen depending on how cold it is may not work So just like a little pencil with one of these books is another great idea a first aid kit This is another cool idea. It's just a you know very small this one's obviously not like a you know Extensive first aid kit, but you know what's in it some uh, little adhesive bandages there uh, an alcohol pad or two, uh, antiseptic cleanser. You can make this yourself, you know, just sew a little pouch, pop a few things in there. It's not really meant for long trips or anything, but just if you want on a hike and you want to have some band-aids in case you get a blister or, you know, you end up with a sliver or a small cut in your hand, a small little first aid kit will be awesome to have. A lighter. A lighter is a good thing to have, obviously, uh, in the woods. You know, if you want to start fires and things like that, kind of important to have a, a way to do it. So lighters, 
great, they're cheap, this is a bit lighter, they're reliable. They don't work as well when it's below zero and things freeze up, but as long as you keep it next to your body in the winter, it should be good. So a bit lighter, super cheap, and I don't know anybody who wouldn't be able to use one. Meal ready to eat. I love uh, meal ready to eat. They're really awesome, you know, to have on hand. Uh, I finally got my uh, delivery of all the MRE Star um, meals and they came in a box like literally after my camping trip. But why not give someone the gift of a meal on a trip? And you don't have to get MRE Star. You can get, um, there's all kinds of different uh, meals that you can get uh, either online or at a local outfitter. They're so nice to have, you know, here's like my 1500 calorie meal. Don't have to think about it. It's a no brainer. Everything's in here. So get to camp, you're tired exhausted hungry pop up when you're MRE and supper's ready so uh, I know lots of people could appreciate that so consider that for the stockings this year fire starters these are ones I made one to two years ago can't really remember I did a video on it so uh, I'll link that right here and what they're made of is paraffin wax uh, wood shavings and a bit of birch bark at the top they work fabulously well when we were out on our camping trip in New Brunswick and it was damp and rainy I just lit one of these got my kindling ready and uh, my regular logs and boy we were in business so these are really important they're really cute they're homemade you can make them yourself it's not that hard um, and you know you can make one of a, like a tray of a muffin tray and you've got tons for everybody so um, I just got my birch bark in the woods and we had some you know wood shavings laying around so I just put that in there as well or you could just shred up a whole bunch of birch bark and put that in here too it's gonna work um, so these are great and they're homemade so they'll be really appreciated also another thing you can make yourself is Greenland wax here's a pouch of wax that I made um, you know myself and I've got one large one and in this kit I also include two little ones um, they're kind of stuck together right now there you go and uh, basically what they are is beeswax and uh, paraffin wax and they're used to waterproof clothing, um, cotton, polyester and blends and it waterproofs them really well. I use them for my fall raven pants all the time, the knees and the seat, um, just to keep them dry while I'm in the woods. So this is another thing you can make yourself. It's super easy and uh, a lot of people, like Greenland wax is actually really expensive if you buy it uh, from fall raven. It's like 15 bucks for like a small little bar of it. So if you make it yourself, I mean, it's not cheap to buy the beeswax and the paraffin, I'll say that. Um, but if you make it in bulk for yourself, um, you know, you're going to be having it for a long time. It, it makes quite a lot of product actually. So, uh, yeah. And then I just sewed these pouches myself so you can pop them in here and give them as a gift for this holiday season. And last but not least, it's not all about the items. It's about your presence and uh, being kind to others this holiday season. So, you know, offering your time to someone, you know, little coupons for helping clean up around the house, the yard, helping someone chop wood, um, shoveling driveways, things like that. People really appreciate when you can help them out. So that's another great idea. You can sort of put them on little coupons and put them in a stocking. Also, um, you know, feel free to donate uh, on someone else's behalf to an organization that you believe in and let them know that you did so. It's not always about the material things. It's about thinking about others this holiday season. Well, I hope I've given you some great ideas today for your stocking stuffers. I know we went through a lot of things. Um, a lot of them you can sort of find either online or, you know, like at your local hardware stores or your local outfitter. There's lots of really cool things that you can get. And you don't have to spend a lot of money, actually, on these products, which is awesome this time of year because it can be a pretty expensive time of year, especially if people are traveling um, and or have large families. So these are other great ideas, too, for even like Secret Santa, if anybody's doing that for their work or uh, another organization that we they work with. All right, I hope you guys have a wonderful week as always. And uh, let me know if you have any questions about the products down below. Take care.